And a glow stick is um, a mixture of chemicals. Uh, inside there, there is usually a little vial on the inside. Uh, and when you start a little glow stick, you crack it, break it, and that cracks open that vial and allows the chemicals that are in there to mix. Now usually uh, one of them is just hydrogen peroxide, uh, maybe a little bit stronger than what you'd buy in the store, but not much. Uh, and on the other chemical, usually the one on the outside, is something called a uh, oxalate ester and a fluorescent dye. Uh, the chemicals involved isn't as important as what they do. And so when you crack it, shake it up to make sure they mix, it starts to glow, of course. And I'm going to repeat that for the other two here. And so we have here three glow sticks. Compared to one another, they're glowing all about about the same brightness. Um, but watch what happens when we place them in one. One to hot, one to cold, and one into room temperature. So, already you can begin to see it. It's a little more dramatic on one end than it is on the other, but on the side here where it is, this one was the hot beaker. What do you notice? growing a lot brighter than the one that was in the cold. And remember, they were all glowing about the same brightness to begin with, uh, but pretty significant temperature difference there, or brightness differences there. And that's probably due to the water temperature. temperature. How do we find out for sure? Switch them. Switch them. Switch them, test them again. So the downside is, is the hot water is much hotter than the cold water is cold compared to room temperature. And so it takes a longer time for one of them to change. But if you watch here, what do you see? The one on your left that is the hot one here is getting noticeably brighter and already it's brighter than the room temperature one when just a moment ago it was dimmer than the room temperature one. Now this one over here, the one in the cold, still pretty bright. Just hasn't cooled off enough yet. If we give it time and if my cold water was colder, if I actually had ice in there instead of just refrigerated water, we would probably notice the effect much sooner. So, why does the hot one glow brighter? Go ahead, take a guess. Chemical reaction. It expands, it wants to expand, so there's more of it. Okay, so theory is that it wants to expand and so there's more of it. Is there, so, when things heat up, they normally expand. They'll move around more, but they do generally expand. That's not always true but they do generally expand and there's more of it now. Is there more in here? No. How do you know? Okay. Agree or disagree everyone? More or less inside the glow stick now that it's hot. Excuse me, more or less are the same I should say. Same. I'd say the same. Myself as well. Why? Because it didn't, it didn't get any more. It just it's it's not okay. Any Where did it go? Where did it come from? It's not that there's more there. It's that it's spread out. expanded. It's spread out more. So it does have more volume, but there's not really more stuff there. Now, maybe the more volume does have something to do with it getting brighter, but there's not more stuff here. Certainly, if we had more glowing stuff, more of the chemicals that glows, we would expect it to possibly glow brighter. No, I hope these wouldn't explode. I, I, I doubt these would explode, in fact. By the way, notice now the cold one is closer to room temperature. What's another possibility? Why does the hot one 
the reach of the reach of the reaction okay I hear it speeds up the reaction faster and I heard something mumbled here that I think I think you're right it allows the liquid to it allows the atoms, more specifically, the pieces in there to move faster. And when they vibrate faster, they have more energy, and more energy results in more light being given off. Simple. Reverse process is happening down in the cold beaker. What happens to the cold beaker? When we cool it down, what do they do? They slow down. When they slow down, you do have a contraction process going on there, but the atoms slow down. They don't move as fast, meaning they give off less energy, less light then, uh, in the end. So, it's a matter of how fast the particles are moving. 